All right, welcome back. So last video, um, I showed you how to create a flag animation. Uh, but the question is, if I only want to save a specific pose, a specific keyframe, how can I do that? Uh, as you know, if I uh, go forward, and then I'm going to change the pose. If I go backward on the timeline, nothing going to change. And if I go back to zero, see, let me show you. If you go back to frame one, you're going to reset the animation. So basically, the animation is generated, generated in real time. It never been saved. So how can I save a specific keyframe? Let's see if I want to save 170. I just oppose the animation here. So what I can do is, you know, pretty simple. You just have to select this plan and go to top menu, edit, and then go to denate by type. Denate is history. Okay. So after you denate is history, and then we'll go to a different time, and nothing gonna change. Then you can go to frame one and play. You know, nothing gonna change. But the thing is our scene isn't clean. So if you bring your model to a um, game engine like Unity, uh, you may have an issue with that because we still have its NCLOF nodes and nuclear and dynamic constraint here. So um, I would go to the onliner and uh, denate all these nodes. But as, I, as you can see, as after I denate it, what happened? Let me go back. Okay, this is the initial, this is the initial one. If I denate, and then you can see that it generated another plan. Okay, that plan is the original plan. Okay, and this is the flag. This is what NCLOF generated. Okay, so it will be really consuming if you just go to face mode and select all those faces and denate that. Okay, and sometimes you can make a mistake and you can accidentally denate the real flag. That's what not what we want. Okay, so. Uh, how can I do? If I do object move, object selection move, I cannot select the individual plan. Okay, and they're together, they're merged together. All right. So if you right click on this object, and you'll see that it has a shape load. So just check the shape load on, and you'll see that it automatically bring this uh, Dropbox menu, and under this Dropbox menu, and you will be able to select individual shape. Of this object, okay. So, uh, it it will be hidden by default. So I just have to turn it on, and then you know this is output from the end cloth, okay. And this is our original flag shape. Uh, that is what we want to denote. So select that shape and denote. Here you go. So now you will have a clean model. All right. So now if I create a material for it, so let's do a. Ah, see so if I create a blim material, and let's change a flag first material, and for the color channel, let's get a this one, the PNG one. So here we get a transparency on the side. So we get that for its color channel. And let's apply it to our model. Okay, so here you go. We'll have this flag with the transparency here. And you may notice that on, on this side, even though it's a transparent, but it still reflect lights. Okay, so that is because the specularity, let me show you. So if you go to Hypershade, and since we are using a blim material, it get a specular color. Okay, so for specular color, you can either, you know, do, you can use this one. Any place that has the black color, it won't reflect light. And any place that has white color is going to reflect 100% of the light. Here is it. So basically, here is the transparent. And on the flag, as you can see, it's a shiny. You reflect 100% of the light. As same as the pole.
so you can play. And this is how it looks. Well, it looks cool, but not that realistic. So let's do some change. So if I, I create a different one. So if I do this one, so basically it's not purely white. It has some brightness on it. Uh, and also get some color here. So for the pole, we're going to reflect yellowish color, orangish color, and uh, it's going to have some brightness, a difference on the reflection. So here it's going to reflect about like 80% um, of the light, and here it's going to reflect 20%, uh, and here reflect 0% of the light. And here I'm going to just uh, put a basic, a very simple water splash texture on it, and uh, use the white color. So basically in this area, you're going to reflect um, lights. And here it won't reflect lights. So it will, it looks like, you know, we get the water spray on uh, the flag. Okay, let's see how it looks. So if I do apply, and when I get closer to it, you can see that only spec, uh, specific area reflect lights. It looks like water uh, splash on it, and for the pole, as you can see, um, only the center area reflect about eighty percent of the light, and here reflect uh, uh, here reflect a uh, ten percent, and here reflect zero percent. So that's really stick. All right, and I can um, play and see how it looks. Right. So by, by combining different uh, maps, um, you will have this uh, really realistic flag. Alright, so that's all about the flag animation. And hope you enjoy it.